How to get better at sculpting characters, eye edition. So let's have a look at some common pitfalls some of my students face when dealing with the eyes and how to fix them so our character doesn't look like a discounted version of E.T. Now if you feel like your character is looking at you terrified, this is because the eyelids are far too open. And this often happens when you put an equal distance between the lids relative to the iris. So to fix this, all you need to do is bring the upper eyelid a bit closer to the iris than the lower eyelid. Now another thing I've noticed is the shape of the eyelids themselves. Most often they're quite flat. Instead what we want to aim for is kind of this almond shape for the eyes. Booyah! Almond eyes! <laughs> Seriously though, they will make our eyes look a lot more attractive. Now one thing that often happens as well is over exaggerating the shapes, like for example here with the brow. So avoid over exaggerating and make these shapes kind of flow naturally into one another and this will make our character look a lot more natural. Now another thing I often see is these really unrealistic deep creases around our eyelids. Instead, use a fill brush just to create a nice natural transition towards the eyelid. Now if you're not joining our other students learning about characters, check out our character course.